Welcome once again in this vlog. For today, I would like to share this topic about foods to avoid with hypercalcemia or high calcium in the blood. You know, despite calcium's role in strengthening bones, too much of this can actually weaken them. On top of this, hypercalcemia can create kidney stones, causing heart problems and have a negative effect on brain functions. It can be caused by a variety of severe illnesses, such as cancer. But a common cause is the overuse of calcium supplements. The following foods are all high in calcium and should be avoided if you are concerned about hyper Calcemia, dairy products, cheese, milk, cream, and yogurt are all high in calcium. Certain vegetables like arugula, bok choy, collard greens, corn, kale, and spinach all possess a high calcium content. Dark green leafy vegetables are especially high. Certain fruits like figs, kiwi, and orange juice all contain high calcium. For seafoods, oysters, shrimp, salmon, and sardines can all contribute to excess calcium. Nuts and seeds. Calcium is particularly high in almonds, sunflower, and sesame seeds. Symptoms of hypercalcemia vary from the imperceptible to the severe, but they include issues relating to nausea, vomiting, and constipation. You may feel weak or you have muscle ache, feeling confused or dizzy, lethargy and tiredness, palpitations, and fainting. So, list of foods that are calcium-free. Calcium-free fats and oils. This include the following. Beef and chicken fats. Vegetable shortening. Safola margarine. Canola oil. Corn oil. Olive oil. Peanuts oil. Safflower oil. Soybean oil. Sunflower oil. Regular ranch dressing. And imitation low-calorie mayonnaise. Fruits and vegetables are a good source of calcium. The only fruits and vegetables that are completely calcium-free are dried cranberries and artichokes hearts packed in water or marinated. Fruits and vegetables that contain less than 10 mg of calcium per serving include orange, grapes, sweet cherries, apples, bananas, blueberries, peaches, plantains, plums, pomegranates, bean sprout, capers, corn, dandelion, greens, romaine lettuce, mushroom, and tomatillas. All meats, nuts, and seeds contain calcium with few exceptions. The foods with the lowest amounts of calcium include octopus, uh, salmon, raw swordfish, bluefin tuna, Dried and cured beef, bottom round beef roast, lean round eye, roast, pork bacon, roast, shredded coconut, and cashew butter. For grain products, they are also rare to find without a significant amount of calcium. The grain products with little or no calcium include cooked millet, cooked Spanish rice, cooked sticky rice, cooked wild rice, cornmeal, Corn grips, pop fries, and popcorn. The bottom line is this. The average intake is determined by the National Academies of Sciences for children ages 9 to 18. It is about 1,300 milligrams per day of calcium. For adults 19 to 50 years old, 
it is about 1,000 milligrams per day. And for seniors age 51 and over, it is about 1,200 milligrams per day. That's all for today and see you in my next vlog. Hi! Thank you for watching my vlog. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification below. For more updates and for more upcoming videos, see me in my next vlog. God bless you all!